So this is my sketchpad app in which we can draw lines, we can change the thickness, we can draw little dots and change the colours. We can also take pictures and once taken those pictures can be drawn on top of. We can then save our picture and we can also share pictures. And this is what we're going to try and have a go at creating today. To begin our app we're going to have to load the template into App Inventor called Sketchpad Template. Let's have a quick look at the project so far. We have a title at the top, we have a palette here which is made up of a series of buttons and a slider. This space here, the canvas, is a special object which allows us to animate and to draw. We'll look a bit more about how we use that when we get onto the code, but this is going to be where we're going to draw. We're then going to have four buttons down the bottom. The first will be to clear the screen. The second will be to take a picture with the camera. The third will be to save that picture that we've created. And the last one here will be to share whatever images that we've made. And that might be via email or MMS or whatever it might be. So the first thing that we're going to need to do is these buttons down here, pretty boring. We want to change those, give them a graphical appearance. So we're going to select the clear button and we're going to go on to image, we're going to upload a file and we're going to find a file that I um, want to use as an icon. Now I've got a few different icons here, I'm going to use this one as a clearing icon. So click OK and that will appear in there. Um, I probably want to get rid of the text off of that so I'm just going to get rid of the text and then I've got a nice little button showing what that is going to do. Um, Try and do that for the rest of your buttons. You're welcome to use my icons or choose your own. So let's get our app drawing. The first thing just to point out is our slider on this page um, has a pair of values set. The minimum value for this slider is 1 and the maximum value is 30. This is going to represent the line thickness of our drawing and so those two numbers are the upper and lower limits of that thickness. Let's go to blocks and we've got an empty app page this time, empty code. So we're going to go onto our canvas which is our drawing screen and this has lots of different events that it can respond to but we're going to start with the most basic when canvas is touched. So the canvas has a number of actions, we've got this one which is draw circle. Now the draw circle has three little plug-in options X, Y and R. The X and Y are where the canvas has been touched and the R is the radius of the circle. Now the X and the Y we can get those from this event. If we touch the canvas it knows where it was touched and so therefore we can use these two properties. The radius we're going to get from the slider. So the slider has got a value called thumb position and that will be the number that the slider is currently at. And then if we tap the screen, it will draw a circle. The second thing we're going to do is make it draw a line. If we go into Canvas 1, to draw a line, we're going to want to drag our finger across the canvas. Now, this has got a lot more information attached to it, but we'll have a look at this. As we drag our finger across the screen, our event can give us lots of information. Where we started, where we previously were, and where we currently are we are going to go into our canvas and we're going to draw a line. Now line takes four properties where we're drawing from and where we're drawing to. We're going to take the previous X, the previous Y as our starting point and the current X and the current Y as our end point. The one thing that we haven't done is set the width of the line. We can do that in here by finding the line width property and we can before we draw the line we can set our line width property to the slider thumb position. So now if we look in the emulator we can draw a line or we can draw an individual circle we can change the thickness of the line and draw bigger circles. So, in our app so far, we are able to draw lines and make dots. What we can't do yet is use the colour palette. The idea behind the colour palette is that if I click on red, 
the canvas color will be set to red and this button here will change color to show that's the color I have selected. Let's go and code that in our blocks. For each of our colored buttons we're going to want to do two things when they're clicked. The first is that we're going to go and want to change the paint color of the canvas. So paint color, set canvas one paint color two and we're going to choose the background color of my colored button. Now I could just pop in there a color. So I could say red. But then if I decide to change my color I've got to go in through and change all these. Whereas if I do it this way if I change the background color of the button then this code will still work. The second thing I want to do is change the color of this button here which is called selected color to show which color has been selected. So I can set the selected color background color to the same background color as my button that I've clicked on. So now we'll need to go and do the same thing for the other five buttons. So in our app we can now draw lines, we can change colors, we can change the line thickness and that all works very nicely. But there's three functions we'd like to finish off. Firstly, we'd like to be able to take a picture and put that as our background. Secondly, we'd like to be able to save what we've done. And lastly, we'd like to be able to share what we've created. So let's try using the camera object here in the app to take a picture and set it as the background. If we go to our blocks, then we can find our camera object. Now this has very few options but what we can do is we can take a picture and we're going to link that to our get picture button so when get picture is clicked take picture and then within the camera object we've got this event after picture so when we click this it will go and take a picture this event says when that picture has been taken what do I do with it so these two have to go it really goes a pair what we're going to do with that is we're going to say canvas1 and we're going to set our background image to whatever image we got from the camera. And that should be it. Let's try that out on the emulator. Unfortunately the camera object doesn't work particularly well with the emulator and so we'll have to test this using a real device. So we now have three features to finish off our app. We need to be able to clear the screen, we need to be able to save our image, and we need to be able to share our image. Let's start coding those in the block. We're going to need the three button events. So we're going to want one for clear screen, one for save, and one for share. Now all three are fairly simple. The clear screen one, we can simply ask the canvas to do two things. Firstly, we can ask it to clear, and secondly, if there's a background image been set, we're going to ask it to remove it. So we're going to say set canvas one background image two, and we're going to give it an empty text string. So that will say it's just put an empty image there. The second button we're going to code is the save button. Now again, this is quite simple. Canvas one has the ability to save whatever you've drawn. Now if we use this one we can name our file but we can see this doesn't quite fit. We have to connect this into something and under control there's a block called evaluate but ignore result and then we're going to put a file name in here and I'm going to call it sketchpad.jpg and the final one is sharing. Now the sharing object down here has a few different actions but the one we want is this one, sharing. If we click this then we want to share the file. We have to have saved it first so we're going to copy this block from over here. So what this will do is it will save the file sketchpad and then try and share that file. And that should be it, that should all work.